as was mentioned earlier. And so please welcome Evan with his icebreaker speech entitled Small Town Boy. Thank you, Richard. I'm a small town boy with some big time goals. I grew up and attended high school in Pincher Creek. I always knew that I wanted to be involved in designing, constructing either buildings or infrastructure, something that would keep my mind busy, but also allow me to be out in the field. I attended Lethbridge College for civil engineering, and I've been in the engineering industry for 14 years now, and I know that I made the right choice. Every day presents a new challenge, and I always say that we only get called to project sites when something goes wrong. We never get called to project sites when something is going smoothly. We often have to explain complicated designs to non-technical people. But as Albert Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. I have two younger brothers. I'm the oldest and the wisest. Growing up, I took a slightly different path than both of my younger brothers. They preferred hunting, fishing, video games. I preferred skateboarding, snowboarding, building off-road trucks. My parents still live in Pincher Creek, as well as my youngest brother. My middle brother is now in Vancouver. I moved to Lethbridge right when I was 18. A friend of mine bought a crummy house on the north side, and I lived in his unfinished, leaky, dark basement. I didn't mind though, because I was out of Pincher Creek and I was in the big city. Once I graduated from college, I was able to afford my first house at the ripe age of 22, with the help of two roommates helping me cover all the bills. I was offered my first real engineering job for a company in Fort McLeod. I worked for that company for six years, but I always knew that I wanted to be working for a larger engineering firm in the city, working on more high profile, more challenging projects. In 2011, I accepted a job working for ISL Engineering here in the city that I'm still at today. My role in the company started with me working underneath of other project managers, helping them with design and construction and administration as they needed. I moved my way up the ranks into the position that I'm at today. I'm a project manager who leads a, a team of skilled engineers and technologists. As part of my role, I'm expected to be able to host meetings, present to clients, attend open houses, conduct client interviews. That means I'm expected to be a communication star like Freddie, which is why I'm here today at Toastmasters. I've never really had any concerns with public speaking until I had a few bad experiences. My first bad experience was at a staff retreat a few years ago when I was nominated to speak in front of 200 of my senior coworkers. I started out strong, but then I started speaking quickly, forgetting what I wanted to say. My heart rate was going crazy. I just ended up uh, cutting my speech short just so I could sit down. So this was the first time that it, that it happened to me, and it's awkward for everybody involved when that happens. And since that experience happened, I always go back to that in my mind whenever I'm asked to speak in public. And I know that if I didn't do anything about it, then I'll always be anxious when I'm asked to speak in public. Upon recommendation from Jill's husband, Stephen, I joined Toastmasters. I've only been an official member for 44 days, but I already feel like the club is making a difference. Everyone here is supportive. The club gives me the opportunity to speak weekly and to present my prepared speeches. My ultimate goal is to be able to get up in front of large crowds of people, give entertaining speeches and presentations on some of the cool projects that we're working on, and be able to confidently talk in front of coworkers, clients, friends, and family. I always thought that being able to speak in front of hundreds of people was a skill that only certain people had acquired from birth. But I've since learned that it's a skill that can be developed if I push myself out of my comfort zone. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, do one thing every day that scares you, and the thought of speaking in front of large groups of people definitely scares me. I hope that during my time at Toastmasters, I'm able to gain the confidence to be able to speak in front of large groups of people and be the speaker that people want to come and see. There's a Dale Carnegie quote that I really like. If you're not in the process of becoming the person you want to be, you're automatically becoming the person you don't want to be. Well, as you've heard this morning, I'm a small town boy with some big time goals. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>